Alright guys, how's it going? This is continuing on with the terrain tutorials for Blender. Now you may have noticed a slight trend in the last couple of videos. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you a different website with each tutorial. You could say I'm trying to expand your horizons. I'm so sorry that pun was terrible. <clears throat> this is called City Roads, it's on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description down below. Now I'm aware of other software and websites and plugins but this just kind of gets the job done for me and I quite like it to be honest. So I'm actually going to search for a town called Bonnybridge. It's a very small town in Scotland. Not much happens to be honest. But this is what I like about this website. Now you can see that it uses OpenStreetMap data. But I can actually customise a few things here. So I'm going to customise the line colour. So I'll put this to black. I'll make sure the alpha is on 1. And I'll change the background colour to white. And you can see the two options here on the left. We have a PNG and we have an SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphics. So I'm actually going to save out the SVG here. And we'll quickly jump into Blender. And in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube. We'll come up to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphic. We'll select the file that we downloaded. And depending on how much geometry slash how many lines that it creates, it can take a couple of seconds. And you can see here we get this cool data straight into Blender. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm actually going to select all of this geometry and join it together. So I can press Ctrl and J on the keyboard. You can actually see that it missed out a few lines here, but I'm not worried about that. I'll press F3 on the keyboard and I'll look for Join, and I'll just make this one whole mesh. That essentially means when I come down to the Geometry tab, I can actually control it all as one mesh rather than individual parts. And all I'm going to do is put the depth up, and I'll make it very small, so 0.001. Let me zoom in so you can get a better view. And we end up with street map data. And that's pretty much the basics of the tutorial. I only really wanted to show you the website, but I felt I might as well take it in the blender, eh? Why not? Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.